So far, we've talked about how certain drugs of abuse affect the reward pathways. Many of them stimulate our reward pathways by directly causing changes in our brain chemistry. However, there are also other, less direct ways in which continued drug use can stimulate the reward pathways. Many of these indirect ways involve environmental cues, such as the people, places, and activities closely associated with the direct stimulation of the reward pathways. When the reward that results from taking a drug is paired over and over again with certain places, we become conditioned to experience that place as pleasurable. Then, when our reward pathways are stimulated by an environmental cue, like entering a similar type of place, we often experience a strong desire to take the drug. This strong desire is what is known as a craving. Similarly, if you tend to do most of your drugs with the same group of people, you may begin to feel drug cravings just from seeing them. This is because you have associated the habit of drug taking with this particular group of people. This learned association is called a conditioned response. So what are conditioned responses and how do they turn into cravings? The answer begins with a trip to Russia. A century ago, a renowned physiologist, Ivan Pavlov, formulated his groundbreaking theory of behavior involving learned associations and conditioned responses. Pavlov is most famous for his experiments involving dogs, where just before he would feed them, he would ring a bell. As the dogs began to associate being fed with hearing a bell, the dogs soon learned to expect food every time they heard the ringing of the bell. Soon, just hearing the bell was enough for the dogs to become excited. They would begin to salivate just as though they were actually being fed. This behavior is called a conditioned response. Just like Pavlov's dogs hearing a bell, people also learn to make connections between their environment and the positive reinforcers associated with that environment. Drugs are no different. People tend to associate the pleasurable feelings of drug use with the people, places, and activities that are around when that drug use happens. The biological basis for these environmental cues lies in our brain's ability to rapidly learn associations between events, particularly those that create strong feelings of pleasure, and features of our surrounding environment. The environmental features that evoke cravings for drugs are often referred to as triggers. While some triggers to use drugs are external cues from the world that surrounds us, other triggers may be internal, such as painful memories or unpleasant emotions. Whether internal or external, exposure to these triggers can cause neurons within the reward pathways to release small amounts of dopamine as an anticipatory response. Like Pavlov's dogs being triggered by a bell to salivate in anticipation of food, our brains also learn to anticipate drug effects when exposed to cues associated with drugs. Under these circumstances, our brains release small amounts of dopamine in the reward pathways. These anticipatory responses form the biological basis for the cravings that many drug abusers feel for their favorite drug. 